I believe in loyalty and friendship. Whether they believe it or not, everyone has a friend of some sort. Friends can be family, pets, schoolmates, imaginary, or even inanimate objects. And when people find their friends, they're loyal to them. I myself have many friends who I believe are people who see me for who I am. They are loyal to me, and in return, I to them. As such, I believe in loyalty and friendship. When I was younger, I knew people in my life who I had considered amazing friends, and they had hurt me in ways I couldn't understand back then. I always wondered why I never had too many friends growing up. The older kids, even if they were only older by a year, would find me annoying, and people my age weren't the nicest. I would usually hang out with the younger kids, which was fine, but I always felt left out when they would prioritize their other friends over me. Now, I associate myself with people who accept me, and I know that they would never intentionally leave me behind or make me feel left out. For that, I am thankful to them. For the longest time, I had found it very difficult to confide in others about personal matters. In fact, I still do. I always have a lingering fear in the back of my mind that I'll be backstabbed, and I'll wake up one morning to the knowledge that unsavory people knew about my issues. I'm slowly getting over it with the help of my current friends, and I've realized that I can trust them. I actually told some of them things that I had never told anyone else before, and I expected them to keep quiet about it, and they did. I appreciate what they do for me, and that they trust me enough in return to share their secrets as well. In 6th and 7th grade, a friend of mine was going through a tough time. Our other friends tried their best to support them, and I believed that I could have done better. I wasn't very helpful, nor was I open-minded and supportive about their struggles. Looking back at it now, I realized that I was acting inappropriately and in such a way that if they were to do that to me, I wouldn't have wanted to be their friend anymore. Thankfully, they were kind enough to let me make amends, and although I still may not understand much of what they go through to this day, I try my best to support them. Through these experiences, I have come to believe in loyalty and friendship.